Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. The Lord has given me a word of knowledge for some people. There is someone that is suffering with the issue of gluten issue. That is a celiac disease, to be precise. If that is you today, I want to pray for you right now. And you'll start to find that even your uh, gluten-free diet uh, will start to affect you a little bit. You'll, you'll realize, hey, hang on a minute, I don't have this problem anymore. I'm going to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, I speak to every area of this person right now. You will touch them from the top of their head to the soles of their feet right now. Lord, I pray for healing in that area. Lord, where I come against that disease within their life in the name of Jesus Christ. I also pray for those that are lactose intolerant. Lord, I pray for those people right now that are lactose intolerant. Lord, I declare today that those dairy products, that those things that they've been eating will no longer affect them in the name of Jesus Christ. You said that we could even eat poison. We could drink poison and those things will not affect us. I declare today that over their body, those issues of lactosis will no longer affect them in the name of Jesus Christ. And you will know this by your diet. Things won't affect you as much anymore. And then you'll gradually start to say, wow, oh, these things don't affect me anymore. I declare your healing right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I also speak to those people that have have a colon issue or a rectum issue. Maybe some have constipation. Others may have an irritable bowel. But I pray today, someone may even have colon cancer. I come against that today in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare over that area of their colon, their rectum, their whole area there. Lord, I pray for healing over that area of the body in the name of Jesus Christ. For that person that has been constipated, Lord, I pray for a release in the name of Jesus Christ. A release in the name of Jesus Christ. A release in the name of Jesus Christ. For that person with the irritable bow, Lord, I pray right now, Lord, that you'll bring healing right now from the top of their head to the soles of their feet right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Someone is praying for the fruitfulness of the womb. I declare today that God will open up your womb in this new season to come in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray you are the God that opens wombs. You are the God that closes wombs. Lord, I come against every generational curse that has been upon them that has been stopping them from giving birth in the name of Jesus Christ I come against miscarriages there is someone that's been having constant miscarriages I come against that that shall no longer happen in the name of Jesus Christ I declare your healing over them today in the name of Jesus Christ as you receive your healing as you receive your healing today in Jesus Christ mighty name. The Lord is saying there is someone that seems to have got themselves caught in a bit of a trap where they find that they're going back to those things that they used to do before and God wants to bring deliverance to you right now. So if you find that you have been caught in the in Satan's devices, Satan's traps, and you find yourself going back into that addiction, into that sin, into that temptation, into that thing that you used to do before. I just want you to listen to this prayer right now. Heavenly Father, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. I come against that spirit right now that is coming against this person right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray today, Lord, that you will give them the grace to overcome, to say no to temptation, to say no to that vice that has slowly crept back into the Christian wall. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ through the fire of the Holy Spirit right now to come and revive that person, to deliver them and touch them right now from the top of their head to the soles of their feet right now. Come and deliver them, Lord. Come and deliver them and revive them today and set their feet once again upon the solid rock of Jesus Christ right now. Despite of whatever the enemy has been throwing at you, bringing discouragement, bringing doubt, 
shake it off today. Shake it off today. Don't say, well, pastor, I did the fast. I don't see anything happening. That's the worst thing you can say. You've got to speak words of faith. You've got to push through until the breakthrough comes. You've got to speak words of life and not of death precious saints. Don't look at your problems. Don't look at the your spouse as your problem or whatever the is, situation is. They may be a very problem, but I want you to look to the Word of God. I want you to declare the Word of God and say, God, I'm going to get through this. I'm going to get out of this situation. This family curse is not going to hold me back. I'm going to press forward. I'm going to be the head and not the tail. I'm going to be above and not beneath. I'm no longer going to live in setbacks. I'm not going to low, no longer allow sabotage to follow my life. That's why we do this fasting so that you can break through because fasting breaks the chains of bondages. It breaks the chains of curses. It breaks the chains of the enemy upon your life. I want you to press in precious saints. Seek him today. Seek him for your own experience with him, not just through Pastor Robert's experience, but through your own experience. Say, God, I want to hear you today. God, I want to see you today. God, I want to manifest through my life, not just through someone else's testimony, but Lord, I want to claim if you can do it for them, you can do it for me also in the name of Jesus Christ. So Lord, I pray that you would touch those people today that need this word of knowledge to bring them and to deliver them and set them upon the solid rock of Jesus Christ. So Lord, touch them in Jesus' name. Your history does not define your destiny. What God has for you is bigger than you. God will use the most flawed and unlikely of individuals for his glory. Do not allow your past to discourage you from taking bold destiny steps towards the promise that God has in store for your life. David was an adulterer and a murderer. Paul persecuted Christians. Peter denied Jesus, yet and still God used them in a mighty way. That means they went away and sinned no more after they were confronted with those things. But when they came to the Lord, as David did, he was a man after God's own heart. Your life is his platform. God has positioned you for such a time as this and God is getting ready to use you. God is saying to you today, do not let your emotions be your decision maker, but stop and pray. One moment in his presence changes everything. God is calling you unto himself this very day. The Bible says, according to Proverbs 3, verse 5 to 6, trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your path straight. 1 Peter 1, 3 says, praise be to the God of our Father, of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that can never perish, spoil or fade. His, this inheritance is kept in heaven for you and for me, for those that will finish the race that is ahead of us. God has a plan for you. God has a plan for you. All you need to do is submit to that plan. All you need to do is say, God, I'm willing to submit. I'm willing to 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 hear. I'm not going to allow the emotions, uh, uh, you know, drive my decision making. But I'm going to wait upon you. I'm going to wait upon your timing. I'm going to wait upon your prompting of your Holy Spirit. I'm going to wait till you confirm it in the Word of God. I'm going to wait and until I have the peace of Christ in my heart for every decision. Let me pray for you, precious saints. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, even as I come before you this very day, Heavenly Father, as we lift up today all the saints that are in need of healing, that are in need of deliverance, that are in need of breakthrough, Heavenly Father, I pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ right now, Heavenly Father, that you would come and touch each person today in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, you said in your word in Luke eleven twenty. 20, 
You said, but if I come to drive out devils with the finger of God, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. Heavenly Father, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, whatever their sickness is, whatever their issue is, whatever the doctor has said, whatever the torment that they have been going through in their dreams or any dream pollution, Heavenly Father, today enough is enough and you will come and touch them in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. According to 2 Corinthians 10, 5, we bring every thought into the captivity under the obedience of Christ. Heavenly Father, I pray right now, I come against all sicknesses. I come against all oppression that is coming against them, all instability. Lord, any schizophrenia, any double-mindedness, any depression, any type of sickness, any type of condition, that has been spoken over their life by the doctor today. I pray and I bind the spirit of infirmity. I bind that spirit right now of torment upon their life in the name of Jesus. I bind that spirit of addiction. I bind that spirit of infirmity that has been against them today in the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. I bind you today. I bind you today in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, that you would release your anointing now. You would release your anointing now upon them. I bind that devil right now with a threefold cord according to Ecclesiastes 4.12. I bind you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. You will go back to the pit of hell right now. I command you in the name of Jesus Christ, you will leave them by the power of the Holy Spirit that is here right now, through the anointing of the Holy Spirit, through the authority of our Lord Jesus Christ, and through the blood of Jesus Christ, for by His stripes you were healed. I pray right now in the name of Jesus Christ, so I speak that healing upon them. As you said, your, when your healing comes, your, your word goes forth and brings healing. I speak that upon them right now. Let the anointing, let the Holy Spirit come and send fire upon each person today. Send fire right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord, may that healing come through the anointing of the Holy Spirit right now and touch them from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. No more doubtful mindfulness, no more double-mindedness, Lord, but that they may be full of the Holy Spirit today in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you. Touch your people. Touch your people. We thank you for what you're doing, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for what you are doing right now. Lord, that you would touch each person from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray and believe. Amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy in Perth, Western Australia. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And if you've liked this utterance today, we encourage you subscribe to our YouTube channel, Saints. There is 1,400 uploads of videos, teachings, prophetic words, healing, deliverance, revival, you name it, it is there. You just have to go to the search button, type in whatever topic, put Robert Clancy and then the topic and you will find it. In actual fact, you won't even have to email me to ask a question. You can just go to the, the YouTube channel. That's the whole purpose for the YouTube channel is to reach many more people. So I encourage you, get on the search button even before you send me an email to find out what God is doing and what is saying about those particular subjects or queries that you may have. You can also follow us on Facebook or Instagram. Go to our free website, repentancerevival.com. So as I'm about to go to the USA and pray specifically for those seven days throughout that period of election, I encourage you to join in with me. You don't just have to come from that nation, but you can join also around the place. We've also got other uh, elections taking place. We've got one in Namibia in November. We've also got one in Botswana at the end of October. So there are other nations that are also going through elections. It's very important for us as the Church of Jesus Christ to pray 
through such periods of time. But I will be in the United States. Then we do have the conference, uh, as you can see from the flyer, which is on the 8th, the 9th, and the 10th. Precious Saints, this is a time to press in. This is a time to believe in revival for all nations within Africa, within all continents, within all places, that they may catch the fire of repentance, revival to prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. For those that have been discouraged, keep pressing through, precious saints, that God is moving. There's an open heaven upon those. God is sending divine helpers, ministering angels, you name it. God is doing it within this hour and you've got to participate to receive your breakthrough. So I want to encourage you as we go on to the Corporate Friday fastings each week and also uh, we'll, we'll go into uh, November's fast that will be announced in the coming weeks and so forth. So I encourage you, I just encourage you to press in and to pray. Thank you very much for your prayers also. We appreciate your prayers as well as you know, because it is kind of tough trying to do this every day, but by God's grace, I get through. I just push through in worship, push through until the words come, until God starts to speak. So I just encourage you, be blessed today from my family to yours. God bless you. We love you. We are praying for you, precious saints. Shalom, shalom, shalom.